Right now we're talking about increasing the efficiency of the panels by approximately 7%. That's with natural airflow. Uh, once we start adding in uh, mechanical devices to move the air through, there's no end to what we could get to. But that's good for any solar panel. So it doesn't matter whether it's this one or any other solar panel, they're all going to improve efficiency because of this. Because of this system, between the two inverters and the 72 panels, We've already reduced uh, pollution going into the air by over four tons in the roughly two months that we've had this system operating. When you say four tons, uh, elaborate on that. Uh, that's literally 8,000 pounds. Of? Carbon dioxide. From? Uh, from what would have normally have been power generated by a coal fire plant uh, that would have produced that much ca uh, carbon going up into the air. So you're saying approximately four tons of coal? Uh, approximately four tons of the actual carbon dioxide, it would have been many multiples of tons being burnt to get that kind of carbon out of the, into the air. When did you start uh, constructing this system? Uh, in May 2010. Okay. And uh, how long did it take you to really put this whole thing together? Like really basically like four months at first because we had to build a slab. We had to wait for them to form the ground, and plus the rails, and plus shipment. It, take, it took like three months. Once we get everything in, we start rolling from there. Mm -hmm. And was, that, was this difficult to put together? No, sir. Not at all. Uh, there's 72 panels. Uh, they're 175 watts each. And the total output? Uh, it'll put out about 10 uh, AC kilowatts an hour, or about 60 a day. Okay. And tell me, what... Uh, you're standing in front of, what is that you're standing in front of? Uh, this is a 7 kilowatt inverter. Uh, it will uh, change the DC energy that the solar panels put out into AC energy that matches the grid power and then actually operates the water treatment plant. Okay. What are the boxes right below it? Uh, these are our safety disconnects. These are required by code. And then once we get over here, this is the actual meter from Georgia Power. Uh, Georgia Power pays for the box and for the meter to be put in. These are my cool, this is the cool tube system that I wanted to experiment with here on this. If you can get a shot down at the far side down here, uh, you've got the incoming air. It goes down into the ground. We're about six feet deep. Then it comes across these pipes and cools the panels using ground temperature air, which should be somewhere around 65 to 70 degrees. That keeps the panels cool so they produce more. So the value of cooler air actually equates to more power? It would. Uh, by keeping the panels at a more constant temperature of somewhere between uh, 110 and uh, roughly 70 degrees, they produce more power because they're in the right range for producing power. Okay. And how much energy does these tubes use to uh, generate this coolness? Zero. Uh, this is using natural air pressure to move the air through the tubes and up onto the panels. So, uh, how long did it take to put in the uh, cooling tubes? Cooling tubes uh, took like a week because we had to wait for processing to uh, dig the hole for us first. Once they dug the hole, we had all our PVC pipes and we set them right on there. How deep are those pipes? Uh, six feet underground. And how much energy does these tubes use to uh, generate this coolness? Zero. Uh, this is using natural air pressure to move the air through the tubes and up onto the panels. Well, because the air drops into the far end, uh, because of natural air pressure, uh, what we've done is on this end of the tube, we've actually made the tube smaller. So because the tube is smaller, the airflow is going to be towards the smaller end. The more air that goes in, the smaller end allows it to uh, come out. When the air comes out, it's cooled down to the ground temperature at approximately six feet down. Should be somewhere between 65 and 70 degrees. And even right now, though we don't have it completely set up, uh, you can already feel a slight breeze coming through the pipes. There's three separate pipes here, each one at a different length underneath the panels which can be extended to 
cover each one of the panels. Would adding a fan to the system help in any way? Or Absolutely. It would? Absolutely. In fact, this test is just going to be the beginning of what uh, may very well be something very big in the future.